When we do interviews, everyone says, oh, do you ever watch your... Oh. Everyone says, do you ever watch old videos back of you when you're on X Factor? And I can't, like, I actually, like, can't, can't watch them back because it just makes me so sad. And it's a time of my life that I will never get back. I just remember we did the first live show and remember being in the house at the time and everyone was like gathering around like watching their performances back online yeah and then someone was like oh look you can read what people are saying about your comp your your performance so i just thought people would either be it would be like oh yeah they're good or, or yeah. no they're all right yeah when we went onto the comments every single comment was about the way i looked it was nothing about us as a group or our singing it was literally like jesse is repulsive Jessie looks deformed, like I wish she'd chop her head off. She looks absolutely disgusting. I don't want to look at that girl anymore. And it was just yeah. like, I just didn't not, I, I remember at that time feeling like, what, I don't know what I've done wrong. When everyone else watches that back, they relive a time of their life, which was the best experience of their life. And that night, all I remember doing was just thinking, I just want to go home. Like I didn't, I didn't care about winning. I didn't care about anything. I just wanted to go home, be with my family, and just hide away. And this was the day after we won the final. Should have been the happiest day of my life. And what's really sad is that the other three girls sitting next to me were literally living their dream. And this was the day that I remembered feeling like the whole world hated me. You now seem to have all disappeared off Twitter. You got like a collective. Twitter yeah, account got now. A group one. And then obviously like I got rid of Twitter. Like I I will never have it again because for me, like that's what made me really bad. We yeah. decided that I think it was best as a group to just have the one because um it's easier for the fans and we still speak individually on, on the group Twitter, but yeah, we'll we just, just feel more as a group now. Yeah. 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 Um, quite, it must have been quite liberating just getting rid of that. Absolutely, but yeah. I've struggled with it. It started really? as like an addiction. Like I it found myself addiction. wanting to get it back again and then yeah. I literally had to have people stop me, like take my phone yeah. away. We were going back on X Factor to perform our new single and I didn't give a shit if, I, if the performance was going to be good. All I cared about was people seeing me and going, oh, she looks good, she's lost weight. Like that's all I wanted people to say when they saw the performance. Oh, get you back off the world. Don't you get and I just literally, I starved myself for a week. I didn't eat anything, so I thought if I eat, then I'm going to put on weight and then people are going to be fat. What's the fucking point? I've just starved myself for a week and I'm still getting called fat. So I could be the skinniest girl in the world and this is never going to go away. And I just sat in bed and I was just crying, thinking, this is never, sorry. I just remember thinking, this is never going to go. Like, I'm, uh, I'm going to constantly wake up and just feel sad for the rest of my life. So what is the point in being here? Like, there's no point waking up and feeling sad every day because it's, I couldn't, like, I, I physically, like, couldn't um, tolerate the pain anymore that it felt like. I, it just, like, the only way I can describe the pain is that it feels like, if, if you've ever been heartbroken in your life, it just feels like constantly feeling heartbroken and I remember thinking I just I just need to make this go away and it was the first time I thought I'm gonna do this like I'm gonna I'm just gonna end this and I just remember going to the kitchen and I just took as many tablets as I could. For five years I was really suffering from depression and I didn't want to talk about it because I was like one I felt embarrassed and I felt ashamed so I literally couldn't bring myself to get out of bed because I was so depressed. Yeah. Didn't want to go out, yeah. missed work, missed shows. <laughs> oh, no. We miss her. What happened? She has an ear infection. She, she couldn't fly. Uh, right now, Ellen's stuck being jet lagged for a start. Um, I would bring Jessie here. Yeah. yeah. And I would. Um, Sure. No, what I would have, I would have, this is what one that Jesse always says, so oh, yeah. if I had magic right now, I'd make a giant come here, hold his hands out with loads of marshmallows in them, and I can sleep in it. Do you know what? 
Did she say that before? Mm -hmm. I've never heard her. I say mean, minus the marshmallows. I added that part. What myself. did she say? <laughs> Johnny, I freestyled. Why? She's like, imagine if you had a giant and you just soak these hands and you just let you sleep in there. Oh. And you'd be like, oh, that would be cute. You're all safe, protected. Yeah. Chair, seat, seat. seat. sofa, Sit. oh, Jesse. Feeling confident. This is exactly why we wrote this song. And <laughs> God, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Jesse Nelson had to cancel at the very last minute. It had an effect on everything. I didn't want to go out with my friends. I generally didn't want to go to work. I didn't want to perform on stage anymore because I just mentally used to think that when I'd be on stage, if I'd see like people in the crowd like pointing at me or whispering, I think they would like saying horrible things about me. Paranoia. And I got anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. I'd panic attacks. Did you nearly leave the band? Yeah. 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 There must have been a few times where, mm -hmm. where the girls have stopped you from leaving the band. Yeah, but for them it was hard as well. Like it must have been such an crap time for them as well because yeah. at the same time they're like living their dream. Yeah. And yeah. so for to have someone in the band who was like constantly down and depressed all the time, like Yeah. No, like you don't want that. Like when, when you're like living your best life and it was hard for them to like be happy but then console yeah. me at the same time. You don't want them to resent you no, as well. No, of course yeah. not. And, and yeah. I, at times I was so jealous of them. Like I, I was just so envious of like how happy they were. And I was just yeah. like, I just want to know what it feels like to be happy and, yeah. and feel like that. But I couldn't, I couldn't make myself happy. For so long, I was just pretending to be someone that I wasn't. Mm. I felt like, because obviously we've got so many fans and they'd always write and be like, oh God, you're so confident and seeing you so confident helps me get, get through yeah. things. And so I felt like I had to put on like this. The pressure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I felt like I kind of had to a put on like model. a yeah a brave face and pretend like I didn't care and like it wasn't affecting me when really like yeah it, it was awful. People are writing a few nasty comments and I don't know it just got to me a little bit. Obviously when you've got your own insecurities and you know I'm yourself and then when people go and tell you and write them on websites for everyone to see it just makes you feel really rubbish. Being in a girl group with um, so, like three beautiful girls, <laughs> they're obviously a lot slimmer and smaller than me, and I obviously know I'm a lot bigger. I don't know, I just I find it uh, really hard when people publicise it on Twitter and they can see what they want. You're one of the prettiest, nicest people I've ever ever met. I hate seeing you upset. Leave for Jessie. My Jess Linder is one of the most incredible <laughs> people I've ever met. Literally, like, she is so inspiring. Oh, oh. my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Who's <laughs> <laughs> got a Oh, <laughs> oh. someone got a tissue. Oh. I can feel it. She's trying to make out like she really cares about Jess, but she's just she's making it stop with her. Oh, you know what? It's probably the mix it's of so like, makes it so cute. Alcohol. Mix of alcohol and emotion. Uh, a dangerous know, combo. Let me laugh so I can stop. <laughs> one one rush, one burn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, why am I always the one to. Oh, God, it's so bad. This is what I mean about us. Oh, it's my really God. Strong. We've made the members little mix cry. She's very yeah. yeah. Okay, Jessie. Incredible <laughs> person, yeah. Very inspiring. Yeah. And she doesn't realise like how much she does inspire people. Oh. And she will always make you feel better. Whenever you're down, like she'll take the time out mm -hmm. to talk to you and just make everything better. And she's stunning, so beautiful, amazing body. <laughs> So the crooked number is making my eyes. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. You stole the love that I Thank you.
is a light at the end of the tunnel. Like, I mean, it doesn't. It's not all about online trolling. Like, it's about mental illness yeah. as well. Yeah. And for people that don't feel like they they're gonna feel happy again or they're gonna get better, mm -hmm. like you can. You just need to talk to someone. Yeah.